All right, we're going to measure volts, the multimeter versus the RR ramp meter as such. Um, I'm set to AC voltage uh, to the 200 setting because, as you can see, I'm reading about 15 volts here. A little bit different voltage between the two devices, but not that far of a spread, quite honestly. Um, let's throttle on up. I have the sound turned off on the locomotive because otherwise you might not be able to hear me. I have a little bit of voltage drop. Both devices do see that. There's a little difference in how much they see. And we'll now run her back down to zero. Out of the box, the scaletrains.com's locomotives um, tend to have a lot of momentum set up. So it takes them a while to slow down. All right, I'm gonna turn off my multimeter, kill the power to the track, Then, going to reconfigure a little bit here. Move up to the amp settings. Move down to the 20 amp settings on the multimeter. the voltage is back. Turn the amp multimeter back on. No amps because nothing's currently flowing. And let's see. No amps on the multimeter. Very small amount on the R ramp meter. We'll cycle the locomotive up. As you can see, the multimeter is recording amps just at a much lower rate than the R ramp meter is. Go all the way up. And the amp reading on the R ramp meter is about 0.32 amps. On the multimeter, it's 0 0.13, 0 0.14, a little bit higher now. It varies, but it is significantly less than the reading on the R ramp meter. Helps if I keep the wires in contact. And we're throttling down. That 0 0.02, 0 0.01 is probably just leakage or something being sucked up by the uh, multimeter.